When things burn, gases and particles are released into the air. Particles so small we can't see them, but we breathe them in every day. This is air pollution, an urgent global public health crisis. Some of these particles are small enough to pass from the lungs into the bloodstream, causing devastating health effects. These include health effects you may be familiar with and others that might surprise you, especially in young children. Consider three-year-old Henri. As he walks with his grandma, they inhale air polluted from traffic exhaust and dust. Both are at risk for health impacts but because Henri is shorter and breathes two to three times faster, he inhales more pollution than his grandma. His body's natural defenses are also still developing, so pollution has a much greater impact on him. Henri's friend, David, lives across town. Because his neighborhood is far from busy roads, David's lungs are likely to grow strong and healthy, while Henri's might not reach their full capacity. Far west, well outside the city, lives Iris. There are wildfires hundreds of kilometers from her home, but pollution is transported to where she lives. She has had trouble breathing and can feel burning in her eyes and throat. And today we know climate change is causing more frequent and more intense wildfires around the world. Amari and Mayen live on two different continents, but both of them were exposed to household air pollution. This increased their risk of being born early and small, which has made them susceptible to additional health problems. Finally, there is Mila. She was born with severe asthma and lives in a low-income neighborhood near a power plant. Because of air pollution, Mila's asthma has gotten worse and made her more likely to get pneumonia. When Mila is hospitalized, her mother can't go to work, which often means they can't afford her asthma medications. The reality is that these children and millions like them around the world not only suffer from these burdens as children, but will carry burdens for the rest of their lives. But it doesn't have to be this way. All around the world, people are working to address air pollution and improve children's health, and the results are encouraging. Efforts to increase access to clean, affordable energy have lowered deaths caused by household air pollution. Outdoor energy is getting cleaner too. Countries are reducing traffic-related pollution with restrictions on older and highly polluting vehicles and subsidies for new electric vehicles. Governments are being asked to consider a broad range of health consequences and to adopt stricter air control policies and alternatives to fossil fuels. Within each of these stories is data. Data grounding our understanding about air quality and driving innovations that will benefit children's health today and in the future. More than 90% of global deaths from air pollution come from outdoor and household PM2.5. The Health Effects Institute State of Global Air Initiative provides objective comprehensive data on levels and trends of air quality and related health impacts for every country in the world. We work to get this trusted scientific research into the hands of those creating change and those demanding change because it has the power to save and improve the lives of millions of people. Visit stateofglobalair.org today to learn more.